That's right, everybody. I finally did it. I'm pretty happy about it. People always kind of ask me why I didn't do it sooner or whatever. It's a tough question to answer, but I'm pretty happy now. Check it out. So he's pretty goofy, but it's tough to get a dog that really matches your personality. I think I did well there. So I think we're gonna be best buds, best friends for a long time now. All right, let's draw. I just wanna draw a picture. Sometimes you've got everything in the world, but the next picture drawn. So we gotta do that now. So did you guys like my dog? Don't worry, I don't keep him, I don't keep him penned up all the time. He, he gets to roam free. I even let him, I even let him work the gas pedals and drive sometimes. He gets around, he gets to go shopping, he does the grocery shopping, he even uh, works the YouTube channel and does the video editing and um, pretty much does everything for me and I don't, I don't do anything anymore. Um, but anyways, here's, I have recently moved or I'm in the process, this last week I moved, or kind of moved. It's it's weird, like I've, I've been telling some people this, but usually when I move in the past, it's been more of a cross country thing, so I had to pack everything up all at once and move. And it's like one big whoomph of a thing, right? But this, I moved only, this time I moved only about an hour away. Uh, and so I had, I did this weird thing where I can just go back and forth and keep grabbing more things, right? Uh, and so I'm, I'm, I'm like kind of halfway moved in right now. And I'm drawing with a ballpoint pen here. I mean, I've got like my computer set up and everything, camera set up and everything. Uh, but the only pen I've unpacked so far is this ballpoint pen. I have like big bins full of art stuff. Uh, but uh, besides that, I mostly just saw a bunch of I like ripped them. I was like, I want to draw now. So I ripped them open. Where's all my art stuff? And I mostly just found a bunch of like paint pens and stuff. I, I remember specifically setting aside all my nice pens, like my, my road rings and my, my fountain pens and stuff. But I think I set them way too far aside and never actually packed them up and brought them over here. So I've got to, got to drive back over to the old place, grab them and, uh, no, but ballpoint pens are very good pens for drawing with. Sometimes it, it's good to go back to that. You can get lines and effects, textures, tones, shadows. You can do things with ballpoint pens that you can't do with any other pens. It's amazing. People will create incredible photorealistic drawings with, or, or what people call hyper realistic i don't really understand why that's a word because doesn't hyper mean above does that mean it's more than realistic i don't know how that term came to be i don't know how something can be more than realistic but i guess it's just because people people were calling drawings realistic and then other people started making drawings that were actually realistic that looked like photos i don't know and then they're like we need a, a better word to show how actually realistic our drawings are anyways don't the, the, the price of an art supply doesn't necessarily determine the quality of the art that can be made with it. You just got to draw a lot, get better. It de depends more on the hand that's holding the art supply and, and the wrist and the arm and, 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 and the body and the mind that it's all attached to and how much time and, and effort has been put into that sort of thing and how much you love it. The chances are, if you love drawing, you will put in a, t a ton of time and effort into it, and you won't have to sit around thinking. You won't. You won't have to pencil it into your schedule. You'll just. Everything else will get kind of pushed out of the way. You'll have to pencil everything else in, around your drawing. You're like, oh, I gotta stop drawing now. It's time to go, eat, sleep, drink, brush my teeth, etc. 
Anyways, here we got another little blobby shape. Um, kind of some muddy, snotty... I so, Sometimes I do wonder what my drawings would look like if they were in color. Maybe one thing I'm afraid of about coloring them is when something is in black and white, you can imagine it being in all sorts of colors, right? When it is colored, but once you actually color it in, it is finally just that color. You know, there's some sense of finality to it, and when you leave it in black and white, your imagination can be constantly filling it in in an infinite number of different ways. Like maybe this is a very brownish goop, or maybe it's kind of bloody and red, or maybe it's just a multi-colored, you know, like technicolor rainbow thing, or I don't know. It could be all sorts of things. I guess that's the cool thing about coloring books. Back when I first put out those coloring books, um, you can, it, it was, people would send me pictures of the things they colored in. It was so cool to see all the different ways people had colored things in different ways. Just the, I don't, I mean, no one ever colored in, um, a drawing the same way twice, you know, it's cool. All right. So what I'm going to do a little experiment with this drawing is look in the, look in the description or in the top comment I'm pinning. I'm going to post this one on eBay for for sale, starting it at $1. So maybe if only one person bids on it, they can buy it for $1. Maybe it'll sell for more. Whatever it sells for, we'll see. All right? So have at it. It's just an experiment. See what happens, okay? All right. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, all right. Okay, okay.